Simple interest, question 12. We are almost at the end of simple interest question bank and I hope by now you have extremely good understanding of simple interest. Question 12 says, the graph below shows the growth of money invested that earns simple interest every year. Explain the investment and find doubling time. Okay, so basically it's a communication question. So when you look at the graph, what do you find? And if you have to explain the investment, what are the critical things which you should be talking about? That is what we are looking into now. So first is investment. What is the principal amount invested? So the principal amount invested is always when time is zero, right? So that is your time zero. And at that time, the principal amount invested is this much. So it must, it is how much? 300, 400, 500 dollars. So the principal amount invested is dollar, 500. So P is dollar 500. Now how it grows? So this is the first year. In first year it grows from 500 to 600. That means 100 dollars. And next year another 100. Then that means every year the growth is by hundred dollars so because the growth is constant so it is a simple interest case not a compound interest right now where the interest earn is P into R into T where P is the principal amount which is 500 for us R is the rate of growth and T is the time as we have seen that the one year every year we are earning interest of hundred dollars so from this we can find the rate of interest how now interest is equal to so let's do the calculation so we know interest is equals to p into r into t right from the graph we can read the interest and interest per year is hundred dollars and amount invested is five hundred dollars right r we don't know and t is one Therefore, R is 100 over 500, correct? And to find the percent, we multiply it by 100. So 100 over 5, so we say R is equals to 100 over 5 or 1 over 5. So we can write rate of interest over here as 1 out of 5 times 100 in percent, right? So which is 20%. So basically the investment is on 20% simple interest rate. Now you can do calculate from here and find interest again just to check whether we have it right or not. So interest is principal amount which is 500 times rate of interest 20 which is 20 over 100 right 20%. Don't forget 20%. This R is in percent. 20% 20 is 20 over 100. Time T, one year, let us say. <clears throat> so when you do this, you get what? 100 divided by 500 is 5. So 5 times 20 is $100. So you get interest of $100 per annum, per year. Correct? So this interest is 20% per annum, right? So per annum or per year correct so that is the interest so we can say that the money of dollar 500 has been invested where simple interest is being earned at the rate of 20 percent per annum right that's what and here we all and find the doubling time so what is doubling time doubling time is the time when the money doubles so we have 500 dollars and it doubles means it becomes thousand dollars so when does it become thousand dollars so nine hundred and hundred thousand dollars let's go like this and come down so we get this five years so the doubling time is five years right so in five years we can see from the graph that the amount which was invested as five hundred dollars here doubles and becomes thousand dollars 
correct so five years is the doubling time right in five years every year hundred dollars is earned as interest you will notice doubling time is the time when the interest earned is same as the money invested the principal right so 500 is the principal amount and 500 is also the interest amount correct in a simple interest problem you will see always that the relation is linear do you see that if you connect them it will be a straight line why are we not connecting them that's a good question since the interest is being paid back only at the end of the year so we have these amounts right it does not mean that we won't get any interest if we take out the money in between so strictly speaking we could have connected them right when we say interest of 20 percent per annum and if we break the policy in between then we may get some money back may not be interest for the whole year let's say if you break it after four months you will get interest for four months right so this can be connected also there are times when these things cannot be connected but here it can be connected because you will be paid interest even if you withdraw your money before the end of the year right well it becomes it is on policy to policy but in general the understanding is 20 percent per annum so if you take the money out half the year you get interest for half the year it will be simple okay so instead of hundred dollars you may earn fifty dollars okay I hope by now you have understood what simple interest is and how amount increases when you invest the principal amount in simple interest it increases linearly and the rate at which it increases is PRT do you see that is the slope kind of thing which you are going to get rate of interest is 20 percent R sorry rate of interest is 20 percent so how do you get that part so let me explore it further and I'll explore this equation itself the amount is equal to let's break this down so when we do that let me expand this so we get P plus PRT do you understand if you compare this with your equation of y equals to mx plus b correct so b is a y intercept here the y intercept is the principal amount five hundred dollars and m is your rate of interest do you see that p into r right that is the rate at which it is increasing and t is your variable x do you see that so that is how your slope is correct so slope is 20 percent that is of principal amount so that forms the slope m correct so i hope now you understand it fully and good luck with simple interest we'll move on to compound interest problems and uh, there'll be a small quiz and a test to see if you have really understood all these things Thank you.